Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2022. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we are going to be covering Exodus 19 through 20 and Matthew 18, 21 through 35. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. At Mount Sinai, Exodus 19. On the first day of the third month after the Israelites left Egypt, on that very day, they came to the desert of Sinai. After they set out from Rephidim, they entered the desert of Sinai, and Israel camped there in the desert in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, and said, This is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob, and what you are to tell the people of Israel. You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. So Moses went back, and he summoned the elders of the people, and set before them all the words that the Lord had commanded him to speak. The people all responded together, and we will do everything the Lord has said. So Moses brought their answer back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud so that the people will hear me speaking with you and will always put their trust in you. Then Moses told the Lord what the people had said. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow have them wash their clothes and be ready by the third day because on that day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of the people, put limits for the people around the mountain, and tell them, Be careful that you do not approach the mountain or touch the foot of it. Whoever touches the mountain is to be put to death. They are to be stoned or shot with arrows. Not a hand is to be laid on them. Not uh, No person or animal shall be permitted to live only when the ram's horns sounds a long blast, may they approach the mountain. After Moses had gone down the mountain to the people, he consecrated them, and they washed their clothes. Then he said to the people, Prepare yourselves for the third day. Abstain from sexual relations. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain, and every loud, and a very loud trumpet blasted, and everyone in the camp trembled. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was covered with smoke, because the Lord descended on it in fire. The smoke billowed up from it like smoke from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled violently. As the sound of the trumpets grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and the voice of God answered him. The Lord descended to the top of Mount Sinai and called Moses to the top of the mountain. So Moses went up, and the Lord said to him, Go down and warn the people, so they do not force their way through to see the Lord, and many of them per perish. Even the priests who approach the Lord must consecrate themselves, or the Lord will break out against them. And Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot come up Mount Sinai, because you yourself warned us, put limits around the mountain, and set it apart as holy. 
the Lord replied, Go down and bring Aaron up with you, but the priests and the people must not force their way through to come up to the Lord, or he will break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them the Ten Commandments. Exodus 20 And God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves an image in the form of anything in heaven, above, on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for sins of their parents to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showering love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you nor your sons or daughters, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in him. But he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed that Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false witness or testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male or female servant, his oxen or his donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. When the people saw the thunder and the lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain in smoke, they trembled with fear. They stayed at a distance and said to Moses, Speak to us yourself and we will listen, but do not have God speak to us or we will die. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. God has come to test you so that the fear of God will be with you to keep you from sinning. The people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick darkness where God was. Idols and altars. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites this, You may have seen for yourselves that I have spoken to you from heaven. Do not make any gods to be alongside me. Do not make for yourselves gods of silver or gold, and gods of silver and of gold. Make an altar of earth for me, and sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, your sheep and goats, your cattle, whatever wherever I cause my name to be honored, I will come to you and bless you. If you make an altar of stone for me, do not build it with dressed stones, for you will defile it if you use a tool on it. And do not go up to my altar on steps, or your private parts may be exposed. That was Exodus 19 through 20. Now we will be turning to Matthew 18, 21.
the parable of the unmerciful servant. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. Therefore the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. As he began the settlement, a man who owed him ten thousand bags of gold was brought to him. Since he was not able to pay, the master ordered that he and his wife and his children and all that he had be sold to repay the debt. At this, the servant fell on his knees before him. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay back everything. The servant's master took pity on him, canceled the debt, and let him go. But when the servant went out, he found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a hundred silver coins. He grabbed him and began to choke him. Pay back what you owe me, he demanded. His fellow servant fell to his knees and begged him, Be patient with me, I will pay it back. But he refused. Instead, he went off and had the man thrown into prison until he could pay the debt. When the other servants saw what had happened, they were outraged and went and told their master everything that had happened. Then the master called the servant in. You wicked servant, he said. I canceled all the, the debt of yours because you begged me. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant just as I had on you? In anger, his master handed him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or your sister from your heart. That was Matthew eighteen twenty one through 35 which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Exodus 21 through 22 and Matthew 19. Father, I just thank you for your word, because if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. I, Shandua Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too.